Greetings from Geneva. I'd like to share an inspiring proverb which I've recently heard from one of ITC's partners in the field. When a fisherman can't go to sea, he mends his nets. In this new normal of 2020, we could better say he or she instead invents a new way to catch fish. Why? Because innovation has to be at the center of how we as individuals, agencies, and countries navigate these challenging times and is key to bringing about the sustainable and diversified export sector that Trinidad and Tobago needs. There are three ways to go about this, going green, going digital, and building resilience. First, going green. We all know that combating climate change is essential, but doing so can also add value to your business and make what you do more attractive to buyers. This means investing in new approaches to production packaging, transport, consumption, and recycling. It means adopting frugal innovation and alternative energy sources. Sometimes it means going back to basics, focusing on what is already available, and thinking about the circular use of resources. In the Caribbean, it will also mean going blue and embracing the blue economy as a source of income and innovation. Second, going digital. The penetration of digital technologies in all spheres of commerce has accelerated during the pandemic. Information and communication technology is now indispensable to connecting with new clients and expanding markets through e-commerce. Distance and remoteness are no longer a barrier. Women and youth-led enterprises can better thrive as digitization breaks boundaries between consumers, competitors, and suppliers. Thirdly, building resilience. Don't put all your eggs in one basket is something we learned at our mother's knee. Diversification of products and markets is a shock absorber, especially for SMEs. It's a strategy we need to pursue now more than ever. It requires imagination, but also adequate short-term finance and impact investments. For SMEs in Trinidad and Tobago to innovate successfully and achieve these aims, we need one, government leadership and support, including from institutions such as Export TT, two, access to adequate finance and investment, three, a business ecosystem that supports green, digital, and inclusion, and four, vision and courage to adapt to this new and challenging reality. I know that the sessions you have planned for the next few days will cover these points and more, so I encourage you to make the most of this chance to connect, change, get more competitive, and meet today's challenges. I also want to take this opportunity to express my deep regret for the cancellation of Trinidad's Carnival for 2021, but I trust that you will be able to bear up under this strain and that we will all come together again in 2022. Thank you very much.